making a completely different impression again. Uh, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, as you mentioned also, the topics of this paper is about a fracture of the distal of the femur, and uh, this is one of the important in the casualty and also in trauma cases that we face with it. And all of the orthopedic surgeons that you are young also, and also in the age of me and all of us, we have the complication of this part of fracture. But in definition, what is the meaning of the distal part femoral fracture? When we back to the text, mention that between 9 to 15 centimeter in the distal part of the femur, we can, we can say that this is distal femoral fracture. That also involves the condyles and also the cortex of that. Normally in the anatomy, we have to mention about that we have lateral condyle, medial condyle, lateral and medial epicondyle, and also the place of the adductor tubercle. And the, in AP view, when we face and getting the X-ray, we see that the bicondylar, the lateral and medial condylar, when we making the line to the horizontal line, the angle that we have in the lateral condyle with medial condyle, it is not just in the same angle. In the lateral part, we have about 10 degree, and in the medial part, 25 degree. So all of this important for fixation in open reduction and internal fixation of distal part of fracture. In anatomy, we have to face with the soft tissue, the artery in 10 centimeter of that, and the quadriceps muscle, and the gastrocnemius, the lateral and medial head of that, that attach in the condylar site in the posterior aspect of the distal part of the femur. And also the, uh, the attachment of the adductor muscles also important. In classification, when we have to talk about the uh, fracture site, we have to mention that we have three parts of three form of the fracture in this area that we uh, make it as type A, type B, and type 3. In the type A, we have subgroup of 1 and 2 and 3 that in type A, subgroup 1, we have two fragments in the distal part. In type B, uh, type 2 of that, we have uh, three parts of that with uh, fragments more. Uh, and in the, the, the type 3 of that, we have a comminuted part of that without that contacting to the articular surface at that. But in the type B, we have one condyle damage medial or lateral condyle or posterior condyle that we mentioned in the book as a hofa. And also in the type C, we have both condylar as a T fracture, and also in type 2, we have comminuted fracture, but the condyle are in two fragments, and in the type 3, we have comminuted parts in these parts. How we could be able to approach in these parts of fractures? Lateral, standard, modified, or limited, medial, and also <coughs> anterolateral. When we're talking about the lateral approach, we have to mention that it is coming from greater trochanter the line and go, going to the uh, tibial tubercle, and we have to knowing about the perforating vessels of that and lateral intermuscular septum of that and facial lateral and the vessel of that and lateral femoral condyle in this area and put it the retractor of the bennet of that and reaching to the articular side and the fracture side of that. Attention, what's the meaning of that? In the casualty, we have to face with the patient that physical examination is very important, especially neurovascular bundle. We have to knowing about that and to the vital side of that. We have many kind of catastrophe cases that we miss the uh, vascular and also impairment of the vessels and also the nerve in this area. Uh, also the vital sign of the patient is also important. And X-ray that we could be able to get in the casualty is very, very important. What, what type of the X-ray? AP and lateral. On the other hand, the pelvis and also the femur and 45 oblique uh, uh, degree uh, getting the uh, X-ray of that, and CT scan of the cases. It's very important that we have. 
Is there any places for non-operative treatment in this whole part of the fracture of nerve? In the cases that Professor Vadal also mentioned about the osteopenia and the problem of the osteoporosis, if we have with the age of the patients that we make use this system. And on the other hand, when we are in a places that we could not be able to have enough instrument that to use it and uh, getting the X-ray in the operation room or getting the uh, uh, CR be having that in the operation room, it's difficult that we doing uh, uh, only for the patient. And if the surgeon hasn't enough uh, experience for approaching to that. So it is uh, important that in the case of undisplaced or impacted or osteopenia that may be approached for conservative treatment. But what's the meaning of the conservative treatment? Traction. Traction and contra-traction, normally we use it, especially in the open type of the fracture in this area, and use it Thomas suspension tractway with uh, Pearson attachment for range of motion for the knee joint and getting the cast brace or also the brace of that. What's the duration of that? maybe four to six weeks in the traction, and also using the cast brace for about eight, approximately about eight weeks for healing that. In operation uh, treatment, what's the option of that and what's the meaning of the operation treatment or if? Restoration of the alignment, restoration of the rotation, if you have to make it, control it, and also the length of the extremity, anatomical reduction of the joint, also important rigid fixation, and yearly ROM, range of motion of the patient, must be reached. Delayed weight bearing about 12 weeks approximately the fixation device that mentioned here. Explaining about IM nail. Uh, interlocking IM nail, as we mentioned in the text, that's antigrad and retrograd nail. We could be used, especially in type A, for fixation of this whole part fracture of the femur. And you see that in this picture, uh, example of that, another uh, x-ray of that, a screw fixation. In the one condyle, we can use it about that. And also DCS, dynamic condylar screw, and angle blade plate we can use for orif of this whole part of these fractures. Also, LCB, locked compression plate, we can use it, and fixation device, as I mentioned, that IM nail, antigrad, and retrograd nail, DCS that I mentioned, and blade plate, condylar buttress plate, and LCP, and least low invasive stabilizing system, and a screw, and external fixation by AO or ring on hybrid and knee spanning. Principle of fixation is important that. In the lateral exit, we have to divide it half of the condyle in anterior and half of them in posterior. The fixation and putting the blade must be between this half of the anterior and the, the, the distance to the articular surface is about one and a half to two centimeter that you see that in this uh, picture also. It is important that we use it, this principle for fixation of that and also we have to think about the horizontal line, articular line of that, that the blade or the angle plate or DCS must be parallel with that for a better fixation and also controlling the fixation of between these two fragments. What is the pitfall? You see that if we could not be able to control it that, this is the result of that angulation in the posterior or maybe in the anterior of both of the fragments. An example of the A type fracture between these two fragments that uh, if we have more than seven centimeter, we can use it anti-grade nail, and also without opening the fracture side by biological fixation, by joystick and putting a stymen in the distal part percutaneously and reduce it and using an anti-grade nail for that. Or retrograde nail that is less than four centimeter A1 or two, or DCS could be able to use, and if it is less than four centimeter, A3, bridging DCS, or lease or LCP plate, we can use this. Also, if the patient has osteopenia, with shortening and impaction of the bowels of the fragment together. For B1 and 2 and 3, it's necessary that after reduction of the fragment, we fix it by intra-articular uh, uh, fixation with uh, a screw about that. That means that ORI fixation of that, and at least with two screws, we could be able to reduce it. 
But the problem of the C1 and C2, especially C3, is important that I have an example of this type of the fracture, a severe intraarticular fracture, C3, that may need extensile approach like Fernandez approach with tibial tuberosity osteotomy. That one of the examples that I bring it from my ward, and you see that this type of the fracture, and also getting the CT of the cases in AP and lateral X-ray, the community of that. And I fix it, as you see that, the bicondylar, and after they fix it with the screw, and after that, with using a lactone patient fracture, after a tibial tubercle osteotomy of that, this is the result in AP and lateral X-ray. Thank you very much. Thank you. Other questions?